Hi there, I'm Carla Collins. Welcome to Celebrity Meltdown, where stars fall apart like the back end of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Shenanigans went down at this week's MTV Movie Awards. Now, everybody's talking about the stunt involving Borat star Sasha Baron Cohen and Eminem. Cohen dressed as his character Bruno in buttless chaps, angel wings, and little else. And he hung, literally, high above the crowd from a harness as the gay Austrian fashionista. Now the harness hit a glitch or something and Bruno landed face down in Eminem's lap with his bare white butt in the white rapper's face. Seriously, the stunt made Brokeback Mountain look like a Disney flick. And sent M storming out of the theater in a heated rage and his posse was bitch slapping Sasha. And I knew the whole thing was more set up than an arranged marriage with Tom Cruise. Seriously, it looked faker than my breasts. Actually, turns out I was right. Paris Hilton was the first choice for a Bruno to land on, but really, would that be anything different than what we've already seen in her sex tape? That was all grainy. This would just be the high definition version. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cohen is being sued by an old woman after an altercation in a bingo hall during the filming of Bruno. Rachel Olson claims that when Cohen appeared as Bruno in Palmdale, California in 2007 as a celebrity, she was shocked by his attire and accuses the star of using vulgar and offensive language. Olson also claims that a physical struggle took place when she tried to grab the mic away from Bruno in order to call bingo numbers, where Cohen offensively touched, pushed, and battered her. All this led apparently to a very distraught Olsen passing out on hard concrete outside the bingo hall and, long story short, she is now confined to a wheelchair. She and her hubby are suing Sasha and NBC for big bucks. I've warned people about the dangers of bingo halls for years now. I mean, you really need to protect yourself before you go inside one of those babies. Try surrounding yourself with white light. If not, try surrounding yourself with white trash. <laughs> Twilight dominated the MTV Movie Awards, picking up five of the giant popcorn thingies. And each time Twilight was announced, the female fans went absolutely monkey and screamed like horror movie victims. I don't get it. I think Twilight is BS. Tell me why vampires are so sexy. I mean, they're pale, effeminate, they always seem to be in a pissy mood, yet everybody is in love with the boys from True Blood and they love the dude from Twilight and Count Chocula is getting sexed up every night. Trust me, chicks dig vampires. That's why Keith Richards still gets laid. Sorry, but when I first saw Rob Pattinson, the guy from Twilight, when I saw him for the first time, I thought he looked like the lead singer of The Cure, but with more eyeliner. I didn't want to judge him too harshly, though. It's not like he could check his makeup in the mirror. Vampire! <laughs> well, after months of relentless publicity and pathetic begging, Octomom Nadia Suleiman is getting her own reality show. iWorks, the makers of the classic epic Breaking Bonaducci, is shopping Octo's show to the networks as I speak. I'm sorry, but I think that Octomom is completely nuts and smears mustard on her face when she's home alone in the dark. Plus, stop saying that she looks like Angelina Jolie. She looks like a butched up Steven Tyler at best. People are just having babies like they're having gas just to attain reality show glory. You know, I think the Octomom show is going to be creepier than the whole John and Kate plus herpes. Usually I'm on a trend like R. Kelly on a babysitter, but I gotta tell you, I'm not willing to do this for my career. I'm gonna sit this one out. I was thinking of maybe just starting with a nanny at first. Besides, I understand that when you're pregnant, you can't drink, smoke, eat sushi, take warm baths, or dye your hair. That is literally all I do. Seriously, I don't know how I'd fill my days. and Maybe I have to learn Spanish. <laughs> Speaking of babies as the new collectibles, despite having to spend more time in a Caribbean hospital last week due to chest pains and dehydration, uber-troubled British songstress Amy Winehouse wants to be a mother. That's right. The tiny train wreck who's done more drugs than an Eastern European weightlifting team, Tom Sizemore and Manny Ramirez combined, wants to adopt a child. Seriously, at this point, I don't think Amy should even adopt an accent. <laughs> Okay, here's some disturbing news. Hollywood is more out of touch than my Grandpa Louie. They just announced that Shia LaBeouf and Javier Bardem are going to be joining the cast of Wall Street 2. Plus, they threw copious amounts of money at Michael Douglas for him to reprise his role. You know, there are like a thousand things wrong with that last sentence. A. Did we learn nothing from Basic Instinct 2? I mean, stop reprising movies over 20 years after they were originally made. What's next? Jennifer Beals and Hot Flash Dance? B. We are in the middle of a hardcore recession. Wall Street, with its motto, greed is good, is that appropriate right now? And you know, Wall Street really isn't what it used to be. It's more of a wall cul-de-sac. Finally, number C. 
Michael Douglas is older than Yoda. The dude's like a thousand years old. Seriously, they would have been better off just casting the adorable little gecko from the Geico commercials. <laughs> An oil painting depicting Madonna naked in bed along with her ex-husband Guy Ritchie is expected to fetch more than 22,000 pounds when it's put up on the auction block later this week. What's the big deal or mystery about Madonna nude? Really, I think I've seen Madonna's breasts more often than I've seen my own. Listen, I love, love Madonna, but come on. Girlfriend has been with so many men, she had to marry a dude called Guy just so she wouldn't yell out the wrong name in bed. <laughs> the Britain's Got Talent 48-year-old singing sensation Susan Boyle has been taken to London's Priory Clinic by paramedics, following concerns about her fragile mental health. Since coming in second in the competition, the YouTube star has been melting down all over the place, including an incident last week where the Scottish singer started cursing and screaming at a few lads that were antagonizing her on the street. Now, she sounded more like an extra from The Sopranos or a performer from Deaf Comedy Jam. She even dropped the F-bomb. I thought it was illegal for virgins to do that in Britain. Anywho, they're going to take good care of her until she stops acting nuttier than squirrel poop. <laughs> So Conan O'Brien is now hosting The Tonight Show. So far he's been getting some mixed reviews, but I think it's awesome that a redhead is now hosting The Tonight Show. Because, you know, up until now, there have been so very few role models for the gingers. Really, only Ron Howard. <laughs> if you've enjoyed Celebrity Meltdown, I'm Carla Collins. If not, I'm RuPaul. <laughs>